Hey everyone, Sarah here, and I'm going to show you how to get set up with Squarespace. So it's going to be pretty easy. You just go to squarespace.com, go ahead and click on the get started button. Now, if you don't have a domain yet, that is perfect because they will handle the domain and hosting all here within Squarespace. Um, and if you don't know what a domain is, it's that .com, so squarespace.com is their domain. If you already have a domain, don't worry, go ahead and skip over to these steps. Later on, you'll be able to input your domain. So over here, you can create a site or build a store. If you are primarily e-commerce, so for example, if you're making products and you're selling them, go ahead and click on build a store. If you're mainly a blogger or you need a portfolio site, click create a site. Do not worry if later on you need to be able to sell items. In the site, you can later on add a store and e-commerce element. So let's go ahead and do create a site. And I am going to say that my site is mainly blogging. So let me look over by designs with blogs. And you know, I really like this one. Let's give a preview. All right, so this is what the previews look like. If you know that you want it, you'll click start this design. Um, so what are the things to remember about Squarespace templates? Although you can change the colors, so if you wanted this to be instead of black and white, you wanted colors there, you can do that as well. Same thing with the uh, font color choices. What you can't make easily are font changes. So if you do not like the font style, or the font used. Um, there's only a few options with the templates. They're all, the reason they lock them down is because they picked fonts that look gorgeous together so you don't have to worry about it. But if for some reason you want to have another font, all you need to know is a little bit of HTML and CSS. If you don't know that, it's a very simple, quick uh, fix by a web designer. It won't cost a lot of money to put in your own font styles. But uh, let's say that we love this. I think it's very cute. I love that it uh, works with both horizontal and vertical images. So let's click start this design. And then here it's going to have you create your site and log in. Now I've already logged in on this other tab. So once you log in and create, we'll say welcome to your new site. Well, let's get started. I'll make you pick a couple of categories. Let's say that this is for my business. And my business is, let's say it is fashion. All right. What are some of my goals? Let's say it's to get hired and publish content and sell services. Let's say that would be that. This is where you Put a creative site title, and that's what's gonna populate up here in the back. Don't worry, you can change this later. And here you are. And so let's just give you a quick crash course. Design tab is everything that you need to know. This is where you're going to add your logo or change your title. This is where you can add taglines. This is where you can also have your logo appear up here instead. And for those of you who don't know, a browser icon, a browser icon is this right here. If you don't want it to be a square, you can change it into another image. Uh, if you need to, um, you are not sure how to create one, if you do a favicon creator, you'll find lots of places um, that will help you figure out how to create basically a super miniaturized version of your logo. All right, let's cancel out of here. Let's go back to design. So style editor is where you're gonna be spending most of your time. We'll wait for it as it loads. All right, this is where you're gonna be changing absolutely everything. This is where you get to change your colors, your links, your sizes, if you want something larger or smaller, this is where you can hide and show columns. 
This is all of your headings. You can change your heading size. You can change the font. It'll give you quite a big list, but I recommend, if you can, to stick with this website right here because all of those will look gorgeous together. But it does come with all Adobe Typekit and a Google Fonts already preloaded, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and then you can also change all of the colors, like we said earlier. If you want to change how the blog grid is listed, like I said, everything, everything. It's amazing. It's all in there. Now, something I'm going to show you, the announcement bar. So this is super useful for those of you who are going to have a newsletter or a, you can have a sale, 20% off, whatever you want to put up here. And you can just easily uh, enable it and disable it. And you can add a URL. So let's say if they click sale 20% off, you can bring it to the sales page. Mobile information bar, not too many people uh, use this. Well, what it will do is it'll give you contact information to show up on a mobile device sooner than what you would probably put on your contact page. I wouldn't worry about that right now. You guys can worry about that later on in your design. Squarespace badge, most people want to disable it. Um, here's something that you want to know about later on. When and if you need to do a custom CSS work and you're not hiring a web designer and you're saying, hey, where do I add this? This is where you add your custom CSS. It's under design. You can just put it right here, or you can open a new window to have an editor pop out. There isn't too much under advanced uh, type kit. If you need to add something to have your font sync up, that would be about it. Analytics is already set up. It's just like Google Analytics. You don't have to worry about um, adding any of that. It'll give you all of the stats for you right here. What's really great is popular content. You want to sort of keep track of the stuff that your readers love. You want to click on the popular content and make sure that you keep writing about things that people love. Commerce, this is the area if you decide to sell things, this is where you do that here. And lastly, let's jump into pages. Now, this will start off with pages already preloaded. You can edit or delete the pages as many as you want. So you can create a page and it has set templates. So if you want a contact us page, you can just hit save. And here is the contact page. You can edit anything you would like in here. You can see, super easy to go ahead and edit. You can also edit forms that are in here and add forms. You can drag and drop. You can add other stuff to it. For example, if you want to add someone's phone number, you need them to answer some more questions. For example, if you need to have them answer more questions about the services they're requesting, you can also use checkbox. So all of this all in here it is super easy to use and once again everything is made to save and edit and it's very simple you can always add more pages you can edit your pages over here this button will always be edit obviously trash can and that is the rough setup for Squarespace now, when you say you thought the site looks great and you are ready to go, you'll hit upgrade now. So these are the two options we have, personal and business. Even though it says business is most popular, I find that not many, too many people have a difference between um, when your assessments are not small between personal and business, you can go ahead and feel free to go to personal if you need to upgrade at any time to business. That's perfectly fine, but you don't generally need more than 20 pages. 
you already get a custom domain with this and there's a transaction fee. The best part about the business is for $6 more a month, the transaction fee is 1% lower, which if you're doing a lot of transactions, that actually will equal to a lot of money saved. But when you're starting out, I recommend go ahead and hit select the $12. This is when you actually start um, putting your money down and that's when your site goes live. So that is it for now. That's just your super quick setup. Um, when you are ready and your site is ready to go, um, you should already have your domain through here. You can get a domain if your domain is through somebody else. So let's say you already purchased a domain from GoDaddy or name.com or someplace else, you would click connect a third party domain you go ahead and put your domain in there. Like perhaps it would be sarahlovespineapple.com. I'd click continue. It would understand what host the domain is with and it would give you instructions on how to set it up. It'll be pretty easy. So that's it for now for Squarespace. Your site is all set up. Remember that most of the time, all of the places that you're gonna be hanging out will be in the design section, so you're in settings, will be in design, that's where you're gonna make all of the style changes of colors. All right, good luck, and as always, let us know if you have any questions.